Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is someone who's showing up as confident and bold, showing up in their masculine. This is someone who's going after what they want. They're taking control. They're taking the lead. Um, this person is showing up as charming, persuasive, assertive. There's an, an energy of someone who's pursuing what they want. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. So we have the Four of Swords, Air Energy, the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Six of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so this is someone who's coming towards you. It looks like this is someone you're not focused on right now. With the Four of Swords, you could even be taking a break from this person or the situation. Um, there's the healing energy, recovering from something, uh, practicing TLC with that Four of Swords. But someone is waiting for you. Like They want to make you an offer. This Ace of Pentacles can be an apology because it does look like you guys are on a break. There's this feeling of recovering or healing from something. This is someone who's coming in to acknowledge and appreciate you. They're coming in to give you some sort of validation. Um, there could be an apology here. It's like they, they there's this feeling of giving you something with sincerity. Um, they are seeing you as someone who they treasure, someone who they, they think highly of, someone they want to be in their life. Um, with that six of wands, they're giving you your flowers. There's this recognition energy, um, making it be known to you that you mean something to them. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a situation where you may, if you may feel stuck, you may feel like you can't move forward right now. You may want more time. You may still feel a bit hurt or wounded by this person, like victimized with this card. So let's see. We have the Ace of Pentacles again, Earth Energy, the Five of Cups in the reverse, Water Energy. And the temperance sagittarius energy that this person wants to move on from a mistake or um some sort of uh pain that they caused you in the past they want to heal the situation they want you to focus on the future rather than the past they do want to heal the connection with the temperance yet yeah, they, they are coming with good intentions they want to make peace they want to um you know give this a shot so they want they want you to be open to them i do see someone whose goal is to have harmony with you and to be on good terms with you they're hoping that you can leave the past behind in some way yeah but this isn't someone who wants to just sweep things under the rug there's still this apologetic energy from them um, it's a it's sincere one because with the Ace of Pentacles, it's something you can really count on. Um, this person means it. It's like they've really reflected on this and there's a sincerity towards what they're saying. So I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Scorpio. Okay, so we have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn okay so yeah someone is ready to put something to rest or put something behind here okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you scorpio
Okay, we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. So we have destiny. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. Okay, so I'm going to put a card for your advice, Scorpio. Okay, so we have surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that supports your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So there's something here that you guys are working through. There's this feeling of healing something and leaving it in the past, ending a tough cycle. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.